it might just be the world's most popular piece of clothing. Skinny leg, wide leg, boot cut, relaxed fit, cowboys, hipsters, models, and punks, we love our jeans, specifically blue jeans. What you may not know is the number of hoops your pants have to jump through for the fabric to turn that classic blue. Roll it! First, a quick history lesson. Stay with me. 1853, a dude named Levi Strauss moves out to Gold Rush Crazy California to sell dry goods. He did not sell wet goods. Understand? Dry. Strauss sold clothes, boots, etc., and in 1872, he teamed up with a tailor to add rivets to his workwear to add durability. They were made of a mix of brown cotton duck, which is essentially canvas, and denim. A year later, the true blue jean was born. Riveted and made from all denim, the original brand was the Levi Strauss Double X. The logo featuring two horses trying to pull the jeans apart debuted in 1886 and is still stamped on the waistband today. Go ahead, look at it. Enough history, back to that sweet chemistry. Strauss's jeans were a trademark blue, indigo more specifically. Indigo dye is extracted from woad plants. You can also get it from plants of the indigo ferro genus. Get it? Indigo ferro. But after Levi Strauss's jeans exploded in popularity, a jeans explosion. Demand for indigo was so high that BASF invented a synthetic dye in 1897. But here's the weird thing. Whether it's natural or synthetic, indigo is not actually water soluble. If you just dump it in with some denim, it's not gonna work. So how do jeans makers turn your blue jeans blue? You've heard of acid wash? This is base wash. The dye is mixed with an alkali solution, an alkali being the opposite of an acid, remember, and a reducing agent. And this chemical reaction allows the indigo to stick to the fabric. When the jeans come out of that wash, they're actually yellow at first, until the dye reacts with oxygen and slowly turns that famous blue. Most jeans makers use a pre-reduced synthetic indigo dye. In fact, almost all of the thousands of tons of indigo dye made each year is used by jean manufacturers. Jean manufacturers. That's how your blue jeans get blue, chemheads. Unless you wear white jeans. But don't do that. Don't. No white pants, kids. This isn't Miami Vice. Also, ask your parents what Miami Vice is. For more, head to the description for a link to Lauren Wolf's original story on jeans from Chemical and Engineering News. We featured her great work before. You'll remember her as the avowed ocean peer, which I'm sure she's thrilled about. Check out that video here. Also, check out the awesome series Speaking of Chemistry, full of great topics from the folks at CNE News. Before you slide into those skinny jeans, hit that subscribe button for more chemistry fun each week.